White House to Capitol Hill, lawmakers in Washington are reacting to our News Nation exclusive poll uh, that shows that Americans are growing wary and weary of President Biden and the government's response to the pandemic. Uh, Joe Khalil speaking with lawmakers about these poll results. He joins us live with their thoughts. And I've been told that there's been some uh, mixed response to these poll uh, findings and some good news. You know, I mean, as talking to lawmakers about this, remember that these are very political, very partisan people. Uh, but I think what really united all of them around uh, some of the exclusive News Nation polling that we got was just that uh, this far into the pandemic, they didn't think that lack of, of trust in institutions and fear about the pandemic would be this persistent, this deep uh, into it. Nearly two full years into the pandemic, and Americans, by a large margin, 80%, still have serious concerns about COVID. Did you ever imagine that, you know, two years later, that number would be that high? No, I think, I think it's shocking that it's that high. That figure comes exclusively from new News Nation polling, which shows Americans are losing faith in the very institutions meant to keep them safe from the pandemic. Of those polled, half don't trust health institutions like the CDC. Only 31% trust COVID information coming from Dr. Fauci. And that number drops to 16% for President Biden. And just 10% trust what they hear on the news. Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon blames widespread misinformation. Instead of having a whole of America patriotic response that we're all in this together and we need to protect each other, we've had a lot of disinformation being um, shared. And she blames the previous president, but many Americans blame the current administration. 55% of those polled disapprove of President Biden's handling of the pandemic, 58% disapprove overall. Here we are two years into it and we don't have enough tests. Republican Congressman Brett Guthrie says he feels people have lost faith because the president set expectations too high and then failed to meet them. President Biden running for office and I'm going to quash the, the virus. I'm going to get rid of the virus. We're going to have it's going to be gone by July. And by a small margin, those polled said they worry more about inflation than COVID, which to Senator Tim Kaine is reason to be hopeful. I think you're going to see some really strong um, economic trends continue. The feelings and the polling data of today may look very, very different when you come to April and May. And Adrian, one more nugget that stuck out to me anyway on our uh, exclusive News Nation polling was just the wide partisan gap on mandates. And, you know, that's expected, but just how big that gap is to me was a little bit surprising. 94% uh, of Democrats support mask mandates compared to 57% of Republicans. And when we talk about vaccine mandates, it's even wider than that. A 50 point gap, 83% of Democrats support, 33% of Republicans say they support a vaccine mandate. So again, not surprising that there would be a difference, but just how big that difference was uh, really caught my eye in this polling as well. Yeah, and I think a lot of people not surprised at all about the uh, lack of trust. Thank you so much, Joe. President, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.